Hey y'all, welcome back to Forever the Truth. Welcome back to this video. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button down below. Be sure to tap the notification bell beside it so that you will be notified when I upload new videos. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share. We're going to be talking about food shortages and empty shelves and people going hungry. So if you don't know it right now, there is a lot of people already in this world that are going to bed hungry. It is estimated that over 828 million people go to bed each night hungry. And this is even including working families that have an income coming in, but they just cannot afford to properly feed their families due to the inflation and the rising costs. Not only that, there's riots going on. Uh, Italy alone seen the storm hall in one town being mobbed, you might as well say, of people coming in there saying, I have no money to buy even bread. You know, what am I supposed to feed my kids tonight? I don't even have the money for bread. And the people in charge and over it is completely ignoring it like the situation is nothing. They didn't even want them coming in talking to them. That's how far it has gotten that our officials that are supposed to be working for us and helping us completely ignored these pleas for help and do absolutely nothing but worry about their own selves instead of actually helping the people. And with everything that's going on from the supply chain issues, the severe droughts, uh, there's a lot of corn that grows around here and stuff like that and it's beginning to come in and it's beginning to produce but most of that corn is going to be used for ethanol and for non-edible purposes. So what good is growing that food if it's not going to be used for eating. We have soybeans that's being grown, large fields of those. Most of this stuff is going to be exported just like our cotton and it's not going to be anything that's even going to help us out in our own country. Meanwhile, other countries such as China are stocking up on their food supplies, getting as much in as they can that way, if something was to happen, and we know that's a great possibility because tensions are high everywhere, that they have a way to feed their people in their country. But yet the U.S. is doing absolutely nothing to actually help our people. The food pantries and food banks are running out of food. People are standing in line for hours for a small box of food that's not going to last them very long. So, you know, if now is not a time to get prepared, if now is not a time to get ready, then I don't know what time you're waiting on. Because if you keep waiting until there's more panic buying that sets in or the shelves get any emptier due to all the supply chain crisis, or you wait till later in the winter when the food's not even actually growing and everybody else is purchasing it, then you're going to be way behind in the game and you're going to be one of those people that's going to go hungry. People are going to starve. That's just all there is to it. A famine can do a lot of stuff to your body if you're not getting the correct nutrients that you need. So you need to be preparing for your family and be ready. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe. God bless you and keep prepping.